There's a sheriff deputy, that's him. He has been arrested because of extreme heinous crimes against children. This is in DeKalb County, Georgia. Now this story is going to highlight the insanity and evil that can be associated with the profession of policing. But it also highlights leadership at the DeKalb County Sheriff's Office. Let me bring your attention to the deputy who was behind bars. Let's put up his picture. His name is Derek Gardner. Derek Gardner is a deputy sheriff for the DeKalb County Sheriff's Office who has now been recently fired. He has been charged with rape, child molestation and more. Officials say that this 34 year old Derek Gardner of Stone Mountain, Georgia was arrested by DeKalb County Police on Sunday. At that time Gardner was employed with the DeKalb County Sheriff's Office. So let me make a distinction here. He works for the Sheriff's Office. But the county also has a police department. They have two different departments. Constitutionally, the sheriff's office outranks the police department. They are not the same agency. They do not have what's called a consolidated government or police protocol. So these are two different agencies that operate in the same jurisdiction. Still, he's a cop. This cop was arrested by cops that know him. Officers charge Gardner with trafficking of persons for sexual servitude, rape, child molestation, first degree cruelty to children, enticing a child for indecent purposes and aggravated sexual battery. After his arrest, the DeKalb County Sheriff's Office immediately terminated his employment. Now let me put up a picture of the sheriff. Her name is Melody Maddox. Sheriff Maddox is the first woman to ever be elected sheriff in that county. And she is one of the very few sheriffs to be elected as a woman in the state of Georgia, period. She happens to be African American and she wasted no time. Now come back to me for a minute, because I need you to understand this. She could have waited for the results of the investigation. She could have did the innocent until proven guilty. She could have did the he's on administrative leave. She did none of that. This sheriff utilized her executive authority against any pro police advocacy and fired him immediately and has him booked inside of her jail, even though she had the option to ship him to another jail because he, in fact, is a sheriff or was a sheriff's deputy under her jurisdiction. She said, "Uh uh-uh, not only are we going to terminate him, we are going to house him right here. And then what did this sheriff do? Immediately released all of the information on her social media pages to the media. She wasted no time. Let me read to you some of it in just a moment. The press release that came from this sheriff came out literally minutes after the arrest. Talk about transparency, firing immediate, press release immediate. It says a 34 year old deputy employed with the DeKalb County Sheriff's Office was arrested in DeKalb County by the DeKalb County Police Department. Stone Mountain resident Derek Gardner, this is the press release. Derek Gardner was charged with trafficking of persons for sexual servitude, rape, child molestation, cruelty to children in the first degree, enticing a child for indecent purposes and aggravated sexual battery. Gardner's employment has been terminated. Gardner was taken into custody on the 6th and booked into the Cab County Jail where he is being held without bond. Now obviously this individual, these accusations, if true, he's a monster. He's a monster who never deserved a badge in the first place for him. That police uniform is a costume because he makes a joke out of it, okay? Now, the sheriff responded the right way. This is a woman in a male dominated industry doing what other sheriffs and chiefs tell us. Oh, We just just can't do that, we have to wait till the outcome of the investigation. We're gonna suspend until this is resolved. She did none of that. 
She said, "Oh, he's fired today. I hope that some of the other executives in law enforcement are taking notes because this is how you handle it. Because this cop has eroded the public trust under her leadership. She ran as a reformist. She said she would have the most transparent sheriff's office in the history of that county. And this is a campaign promise kept. My dear sister, what are your thoughts on this? I mean, it's wonderful to see such decisive and swift action coming out of you know the sheriff's department in this case, because so often we don't see it. And stories like this make you wonder how many times are things like this swept under the rug? Mm -hmm. How many cops are doing the exact same heinous crimes as this deputy sheriff was, but their department protects them? They don't fire them, you know. They don't disavow them. They aren't transparent. They sweep it under the rug. They protect them, and and the people who are being victimized find no justice because you know there's this culture, this white supremacist culture within police departments where they protect one another. But it it's, it is good to see that break in this instance, and I hope that the victims of his horrific, disgusting crimes do find justice, and that if you know that that a jury does find him guilty of these just atrocious things. Yeah, we're going to follow this story from top to bottom, but I'm um, I'm glad to see leadership stepping up. My thoughts and prayers are with the victims of this particular uh, monster, um, but we are going to follow this all the way through.